Yeah, back down and right. Dead is to kill them all. Alright, have you ever wanted a... Hold on, let me turn up my mic. Let me turn up my mic because y'all always turn it down. Alright, so have you ever wanted a AEG out the box, sub $300 with a solid ETU um, as well as can also... An AEG that is also lightweight and can perform with you and keep with up with you on the field. I don't think I have to really explain myself here. I want to say that the newer generations of the UTRs are coming along really, really fine. So, yeah, we've already got a full overview on this. So, if you want to know specs and all that other good stuff, you can find that on that video. I'll link it at the end of this one. But today, we're going to be talking about my initial gameplay experience. Usually, I will wait a little bit longer before doing this particular video. But I ran this video for, I ran this gun for a full, let me see. six hours on the field and i actually ran some odd i think three thousand rounds through it uh in one game day because we had a really long a really long day night session um i actually got i actually ran this so hard and so for so long i got bored of it and switched over to my akx yeah literally that's how i was like man i want to i want to switch things up for a bit but not because the gun sucks but because but because i was just a little bored you know what i mean does this gun suck? No. I, I think, no, I, at this moment, I think Double Eagle has one of the best performing AEGs out the box for sub $300. Like, these are going to be what you're looking for if you're paying $300 or minus dollars. Now, in comparison to other AEGs that I bought in the $300 price range, Double Eagle still outperforms everything else that i found you know what i mean it outperforms its its competitors in this category one it comes with one of the for in my opinion one of the best uh uh one of the best etus in the market that enhance your reliability uh and just enhance your reliability of your gearbox the e-shooter kestrel uh etu allows you to basically have motor protection battery protection and gear protection so you won't let your gears overrun uh it won't let your uh, motor overheat and it won't let your battery die on you it, and the e-shooter kestrel actually allows you to open up the app and allow you to see how much battery life you have left and allow, and allow you to see what your overall performance ratios are and stuff like that i enjoy the e-shooter kestrel when it works um 
if they release an update while you're on the field playing, ignore that update. Do that update when you get home, um, or you will run into slight issues because you have to recalibrate your trigger and all that kind of good stuff before the gun will actually perform uh, function properly. Yeah, don't be a dumbass like I was. Make sure that you're updating this, and then rec after you update your ETUs, that you recalibrate everything after the update, because it's like it feels like it's like a fresh install. Like that's how the gun reads it; is it's a fresh install, or that's how the ETU reads it when you do an update. Uh, like they, oh, they just installed it. You know what I mean? But other than that, this thing um, very aesthetically pleasing to the eye, and the performance of it is immaculate for its price tag right um let's talk like in in other words and you'll probably hear me say this again things like the elite force akx and the elite force competition series that are about sub 100 to 300 dollars um only thing that actually like the sima standards that are about sub 300 dollars the specna arms edge not edge 2 but Specna arms edge and core or some some edges and most cores sub three hundred dollars um, don't really offer you the same capability and the same performance value that this has you know what I mean or the same build quality the elite force competition series at it's sub three hundred dollars their polymer feels cheap it feels just ugh. you know what I mean like the gun the guns perform well you probably heard me say this again but it, it's just the guns just don't feel like they're worth 300 bucks you know what i'm saying when you get an elite force uh when you get a double eagle aeg the newer gens which are probably we're on a third generation of elite force aeg or double eagle aegs right now so when you get one of the latest generations um of the uh, uh, double eagles you're getting a solid quality of life and solid quality control on every single AEG that comes out the package it feels really good in your hand the polymer feels robust it feels rugged it feels like it can handle a beating it feels it feels just as strong as any aluminum body would feel um the it, literally the you they use a, a reinforced thicker polymer and everything just feels very 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 really balanced on these guns i think where these actually shine is the fact that you have a solid standard 16 one gearbox plus a standard 16 one gearbox 16 uh yeah 16 one gearbox and you have the ability to quickly change your velocity as you see fit there's a little screw in the back that you kind of have to take out with the allen key and all that and you can figure it out you figure it out on your own but this thing performs really good out the box you get uh a good solid uh 55 to 60 meter range 60 uh with two weights i was able to actually punch this out around 65 uh but it wasn't as accurate out to 65 we had a lot of wind and it was pretty cold this, the, the, the when we played this uh the, yeah when we played so i i th that that also went to kind of equate for its overall performance issues that i was having a little bit um the issues itself weren't really with the gun itself it was more with the bbs and how they wanted to particularly perform and i always say this man double eagle needs to uh, just man we can we get some good can we get good hop up out the box with all the double eagles please like there should just be one single standard of double of hop up systems for all double eagle AGs going forward you know what i mean 60 degree buckings throw those in there that's it i mean the thing only shoots like one jewel you know what i mean like one to 1.1 jewels so if I'm not switching out springs, nothing like that, a 60 degree bucking is perfectly fine. And that will allow me to hop whatever I need to hop, uh, as well as give me some increased accuracy and uh, a little bit better seal. The seal on this is beautiful because it's a consistent 1.1 joule. Like, it's consistent. You know what I'm saying? Um, there is only maybe about 3 to 5 FPS deviation. In my model, that was about a 3 to 5 FPS deviation. And might i add i was able to see that working um on the field and seeing the consistency of range performance on the field regardless of what mode i was using safe or yeah semi-auto full auto burst and i tried a little bit of everything i tried my magazine mode i tried just running like as a regular ag did a little bit of everything because you know how you know how it is when you get to when you get to, when, when you get the guns and you want to test everything and figure everything out and see how it's working i kind of knew what to already expect with the double eagle uh falcon gearbox plus the uh e-shooter kestrel 
already knew what to expect so i was kind of running it like okay i know what to expect so i'm just going to run it based off my expectations of performance and how the double eagles performed for me and how they've always performed for me so i just ran it this thing gave me zero issues no matter what magazine i put in it emg pts uh uh, yeah, EMG, PTS, the Double Eagle One, and uh, Evike, Bamith Mags. No matter what magazine I put in this to run it through, it just fed everything to the to the end. To the end, every BB fed flawlessly. No, no double feeds, no jams, nothing happening in there that I don't have to worry about. It just ran, and I absolutely loved that about this particular platform. It just ran. You know what I mean? And because of that, this, it, it became one of my favorite AEGs in a day. Like, yo, I ran this. Like, yes, I love this. You know what I mean? Like I said, normally I would have waited to do this initial gameplay experience with it. But I, like I said, I ran about three to 4,000 rounds through it. I literally burned through two batteries running through this thing all day. Obviously, it was cold and a lot of other things. That's, uh, a lot of other factors made me run through so many batteries. But... And I had to charge batteries before I got to my Elite Force AKX, which we'll talk about as well. We'll do a little overview on that. I, that you can expect that this week as well, because uh, I did get a chance to run it. Uh, a little disappointed in it, but we'll talk about that when we get there. But the Double Eagle itself ran as it should have ran, and I felt like I felt like for a uh, sub three hundred dollar AEG, like this is probably going to be hands down one of the best AEGs you can buy right now. Now, this is not the uh, generation, first generation of Dex uh, Double Eagles, or the second generation of the Dex Five Five Six. This is a nine zero eight G nine zero eight G, I believe. This is going to be the um, third generation with the with their newer with the updated Falcon gearbox and all that kind of good stuff. ETU, a uh, little updated quality on uh, quality control on the external build and a lot of things have, some things have changed they look similar they don't feel the same uh, and they don't shoot the same there's a lot of small minor quality control stuff that and improvements on the inside as well as the outside that double eagle has done to kind of make their aegs better and you're seeing that with the newer generation or the latest generation of utr series uh, you're seeing that uh consistently and completely um, I say that you are going to be getting a solid gun here if you want something that is just going to run for you out the box. You get what I'm saying? Um, in the long run, uh, we don't know how it's going to perform yet. You know what I'm saying? Like in the in the long run, we don't know how it's going to perform yet. So you already know that uh, we will return with a full uh long-term gameplay experience with this bad boy but in the short run you got enough real estate to put whatever optics and attachments you want on it uh you have enough battery space in the stock to run whatever size battery you want as long as it's a stick type battery um and you have the pdw look that you will want if you throw a suppressor in the inside of it because it's like an integrated barrel it looks like a, it looks like a honey badge or you know, it looks like a suppressed mdx you know what i'm saying like it gives those vibes that you would just want to have on the field and while you're running and gunning it just feels great um i ran my trigger and high sensitivity like the highest sensitivity uh possible the entire time so that it, i can just kind of run it like i like to run it because i hate having slop or a squish uh or you know a long pull on my on my uh, triggers that's one thing i hate about the elite forces uh elite forces guns they all have like weird long trigger pulls and i just hate i hate them for that um but um other than that, like the new UTR series, this is a nine M923G nine, with the Ishiguro Kestrel. The newer ET, UTR series, the uh, third generation of Falcon gearboxes are solid and their construction is coming along very, very well. I feel that if you are, and I'm going to just repeat this one more time, that if you are in the market for a very well performing, um, very well running yeah, I would say that very well performing sub three hundred dollar AEG because it's going to be roughly about two fifty to three hundred bucks. Where where you go? Where you go? Find it. 
I would say that this is going to be the one that you want. Now, avoid. I wouldn't say avoid the one with the Falcon EFCS in it. Get the one with the e the Kestrel, uh, the Kestrel e shooter, the e shooter Kestrel, because you'll get more bang for your buck. It might be an extra fifty bucks or whatever, but you it'll be it'll be more bang for your buck and more performance for the price. So if you're just looking at something that's going to come with a solid ETU and have a good standardized gearbox all across the board, great for whatever you want to do to it if you want to upgrade it in the future you know what i mean then i would just go with the one with the e-shooter cash because you don't have to actually put in an aftermarket etu in it or nothing like that it'll already come with the etu for it all that e-shooter is really great too on keeping their um updating their profiles so you they will like maybe once every couple weeks or sometimes once every couple months you'll see like your e-shooter uh etu have an update you open up the app and it'll say an update is available they're, they're constantly optimizing the app so e-shooters doing a good job keeping their app constantly optimized uh unlike gate you really don't get that much kind of support with gate gate is like oh well charge is good anyway we don't need to worry about it but it is what it is you know what i'm saying so um Without repeating what I've been saying, I, I think that I, I like this a lot. I like this AEG a lot. I, I um I think I think this is I think they're doing a good job with the four progress of the UTR series and I think the future of the UTR series is looking really, 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 really great. Woo! Very great actually. Uh so great that I can't wait for the next uh UTR um series uh aeg that they send me so i could run that too like like i said uh, i i'm double eagle is one of my favorite brands and that's one reason why we partner with them on the channel so for me i i just can't say the i can't say more or less about double eagle than what i've been saying already i feel that this was a really solid gun for what it offers and what it offers is a We'll say a mid-tier high performance, uh, mid-tier high reliability AEG. And the reliability is more with the Falcon Gearbox coupled with the E-Shooter Kestrel that had that offers those uh, performance or those reliability benefits like lipo protection, gear protection, like true gear protection, battery uh, and motor protection. And it will tell you, it will let you know, it will shut you down if your battery is below 20% your motor is overheating or your gears aren't cycling correctly or they're overrunning this thing will let you know 100 percent uh when you need to like stop using it you know what i'm saying and that's only because of the etu installed inside of it and so that's why i would say just go with the e-shooter version uh because you'll get the most price to your for, uh performance of the price for that but other than that uh i'm going to stop rambling i like i said i'm going to stop rambling i want to use this some more i want to actually take it to a milsim event and run it there and see how it like performs at a milsim event um but yeah other than that other than that that's about it i have nothing more to say i just kind of want to get this video out the way um if you've been curious about how this thing actually runs <laughs> uh fear 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 no more this thing runs really really great and um i can't this is probably going to be one of my top recommended aegs right now if you're looking for something new and fresh uh that's not going to be the older generation of double eagles or you know something that's just not going to be sitting in the warehouse in the shelves uh th these literally these have came out within the last year you know what i'm saying so the m923s uh, G's are have been out within for about a year since the making of this video. Um, however, the case that means that you're getting a newer technology, updated stuff, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I believe that these came out along the same time as the uh, as the M924, which is the DMP, uh, and their DRP as well. They came out around the same time. So, however, the case. Um, I was I thank Double Eagle for sending this out to me so that I can run it, test it, shoot it. Put it in front of you guys. Tell you what I think. Um, so far, so good. We'll see how. We'll see. We'll see uh, if that so far so good maintains itself <laughs> in the long run. Yeah, that's it.